All right, hey everybody. Saw my Dodge. Finally had a little bit of an issue that I'm gonna try and solve here. Um, shouldn't be too bad, I hope. Hopefully I got the right part for it. But I will show you what's going on. Yes, it still runs, still have it. Just been super busy, haven't had time to do uh, YouTube videos. But anyway, so the issue with the Dodge is my ABS light and my brake parking brake light is on all the time right now. So even though, here's my parking brake, push it down, okay, it's still on. So I'll release it right here. That's parking brake release. And my parking brake light still shows that it's on. Watch my speedometer. Some moving and going. And even though I'm going, my speedometer shows that I'm not going. So I'm going, then there it picks up. And after that, like after that it works normally. So if I speed up more, then it's fine, then it works. But if I slow down to under 10 miles an hour, which let's slow way down here. I'm still moving, let's slow down. There it says I'm stopped. but I will show you guys what the issue is and how to fix it. It's not a big deal. Um, it may seem like a big deal when you're, uh, when you're driving like this. It may seem like a big deal, but it's actually a pretty easy fix. Um, you can get the part on Amazon for under 20 bucks. Local auto stores, they'll probably want, uh, they'll probably want about 32 to $40 for it, somewhere in there, depending on where you buy it from, so. All right, let's go get, the, I'll show you what the issue is. This is on the back axle here, which I need to recover in uh, some of that rubberized lining here eventually. Uh, but the issue is on top of your back axle, there's a uh, sensor right up here. It goes down into your axle. Anyway, that is called your uh, ABS uh, speed sensor, I believe the proper name ABS speed sensor and that is what's causing the issue sometimes they go bad sometimes they fail so we need to take this bugger out of here and put it on a new one okay the proper one for my truck was the Dorman uh, 970-024 mine is a 2000 Dodge Ram uh, 1500 5.9 V8 four-wheel drive quad cab so ABS sensor, as you can see right here. That's all it is. All right, here it is here. Here's your uh, speed sensor right here. This part goes down into your axle, mounts on top, plugs in. Should be pretty darn easy to uh, swap out of there. So I'm gonna work on changing it out, put this one in, and we'll see if that fixes the problem. So here's the speed sensor here. Uh, this little, clip deal was stuck in the top of the bracket which is holding in your wires. This harness plugs into the actual speed sensor right, right here. So you just unplug this. You'd unplug this by squeezing down on this little this little clip right here. Squeeze down in there and slide it out. So slide that out. Undo this little deal, pull this out from the top of the bracket. And the next thing we're going to do, there's a bolt right here, or a nut. We're going to take this nut off right here, and then there's another one, I believe, underneath it. We're going to remove that. So we unscrewed this, take the nut off, set that aside, and then this here just slides off. It's holding your brake lines and stuff. So I need two hands, but trust me, this just slides right off the top of here. It's hard to do with just one hand, but just take this little bracket, lift up off the top of here. So just like that. And this rotates a little bit, so that just slides right off the top of there. And now we can work on getting this bottom one off of here. We'll loosen this up, and then we should be good to go to pull out this whole sensor deal, I hope. Loosen this up. Uh, it should pop right out. There 
There you go, there's that bolt. And then you should be able to uh, wiggle that whole sensor right on out of there. Alright guys, we got her out of there. That's the hole where it came out of. Right there. Um, yeah, so I thought it was going to be easy to pull out. Well, here's a piece that came out. And if you can see, the whole bottom piece of plastic stayed in the hole. So it was that corroded or whatever that it actually stayed in there. Um, it's supposed to look it's supposed to look like that. So that whole bottom piece of plastic was wedged in that freaking hole. And I had a heck of a time getting it out. Here it is here. What I finally did was down in there I used my pocket knife tried scraping the inside edge to lift it up, lift it up. Well anyways I finally got a uh, needle nose pliers slid under, slid between the, the outside lip of it and the inside and got a great big grip on it and pulled as hard as I could and it finally popped out of there. Alright guys, so I just slid in the new the new sensor. I just slid that little bugger down in there, popped right in. Now you have this top uh, bracket clips, whatever you want to call it. This goes on, but first I'm going to put that other, well, this can go on I guess first. So that goes on like that. And then we'll get the uh, other bolt put in there and be all set to go. Basically just put her back together, hook up your connector and should be should be ready to go. Pretty simple. Alright, there we go guys, got her all hooked up, uh, I'm going to back this thing while well, I start it up, see if, uh, see if everything works right. Alright guys, well here's the test, I haven't even started it up yet, put the new sensor in, so let's see if the uh, ABS and brake light come on. Ha ha ha, they're all out, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Alright, as you can see, my speedometer works. There's no brake lights or anything else on, so I'm going to slow down here. Slow down right to a crawl. And you can see, okay, now I'm stopped. And now I'm going again. Nice and easy. Speedometer comes right on up. Right on up to 10, just about. We're moving nice and easy. So there. Speed sensor, uh, ABS speed sensor, fix the ABS light and brake light issue and the speedometer issue. So, not a problem. Hope this video helped you guys. Uh, remember, favorite, like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other channels. I'll try and get uploading more videos. I know I've said that, but I have been super busy. I've been out of the country, um, got back, I was working steady 12 and a half hour days. By the time I get up and get home in the morning, it was more like 16 hour days. So there's just been almost no time. But like I say, that'll change here within the next month. So should be getting back to uploading steady content for you guys to enjoy. So thanks again. Hope the video helped and we'll catch you later.